Wait, take that shirt off, man. Show me that bod. Scott, if you're pooping, clench it off. Let's go. What's happening, bro? Come on in. If you want a cocktail, this guy's available. And this is where the magic happens. Most people's houses is the bedroom, not mine. It's the uh, art room. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the stuff's uh, fan art mixed with horror, sci-fi. The poster behind here, that's uh, the world famous weed eaters, man. That's, uh, that's the last band I was in. Hey guys, I'm Todd Reed. I'm a special effects artist from Columbus, Ohio. Today, we're gonna take my man Andy, we're gonna apply some prosthetics to his beautiful bald head and to his spine to show our stunt actors to kind of give them an idea of what they're gonna be wearing. So, um, let's get started, man. So basically, um, Scott Slager and myself, 614 Scream Kings, we, uh, we just uh, started production for a movie called Proudfoot. This is going to be the prosthetic demo run for the wrestling tag team of uh, Victor and Connor that used to be formerly with WWE. They're going to be some star hitmen soldiers in the movie, so we got to make them look gnarly. The first question I get asked is, uh, how do I take this off? And I'm like, you want to take it off? Most people find that funny. <laughs> no. Yeah. We'll get them seamed down. We seem a little frantic, but that's how we always are because he works in the haunt business and I'm always just like ADD impatient. So we're always just like, ah, let's see how fast we can do it, you know? So I'm mixing together some gelatin to like seam it up, make it look a little bit more scab, use a little gelatin. Yeah, silicone we use. Um, this is just better because it's a demo. Let's make it happen, Captain. Woo, this stuff is funky. Yeah, it takes a little while. Yeah. All right, jump in on this. Yeah, uh, here. All right, yeah, get up right under there. that crease. Yeah. We did it in uh, black latex, and uh, that way when you take a chrome dry brush across the top. It just brings up all that beautiful detail, you know. Looks cool. It's been two years since I reinvented myself. I had a couple bands that did tours. I worked for the number three nightclub in the nation, but um, it, I just wasn't happy. See y'all make some fucking noise up in this bitch. I started getting into the food business because I can always cook. You know, I started with a food truck that moved into two restaurant locations. And um, just, you know, my, my heart wasn't in it. Okay, what's up guys? All right, I'm gonna do a makeup today. Got some uh, spray blood. You never know when you're gonna need that. I had never, I, I hadn't done this shit. You know, I just, but I told people, I was like, man, I can do this shit. They're like, yeah, whatever, motherfucker. Yeah. So let's, do you have a place, uh, like photos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your so, inspiration coming in? And hold them up okay. so we can take a look. I looked around. I was like, this dude does internships. And he's going to be the one that shows me this tool. And this tool does. And that's exactly what he did. And I soaked that shit in like a super absorbent sponge for like one week. I love how the vines dive in yeah. and then come back out. When I left his uh, studio, I came out of that motherfucker like, ah! I took off. I fucking went from zero to a hundred, like it wasn't nothing. Mm, I think if we start with the bruising and go veins over top of it, uh -huh. I don't know. Let's bury the veins. How about that? Okay, so we do the veins first. Mm. I'm a little vein guy, so can you CGI uh, get, get CG these old lady uh, Sophia off of Golden Girls glasses off of me? So we're just laying like, we're going to do until there's like 100% cures to make it look more embedded and infected and stuff. We're just, gonna, we're just adding like uh, little veins so you get like this bio kind of thing going, you know, get some light veining in here. When I got into it, there wasn't that many people locally 
that I knew of they even did it. The first sculpt I did in LA, I was, I was doing that sculpt, and I looked in the inboxes because I went live. Here was this guy, Scott Sliger. He was like, hey man, I'm from Columbus too, and I'm a special effects guy, we ought to hook up. And I was like, fuck yeah! Scott's a cool dude, man. You know, he's one of the guys like me. We ain't trying to hide the secrets from everybody because there ain't no fucking secrets, man. I want to see the whole craft grow. So if somebody takes something that I did or something Scott did and does something better with it, then that's awesome. When people get all secretive and shit, like they're hiding some shit, man, it's like, dude, why? You know what this is? They put it in your gutters to, to keep leaves from going right. in there. But it's still porous enough where the water goes down, right? True. But yeah, not anymore. It's stippling sponge. Same spot. Same oh, spot. yeah. Sorry. All right, so check this out. So what it is is fake blood, but when it dries, it looks wet. Let's see that. Yeah, I had just sold my food trucks. Kind of in this like funk period. And one of my friends was a chef over at school, Columbus College Art and Design. It was like, hey man, why don't you come work at this action station? You got a food truck, you know how to talk to the kids. So I got to hang out with him all day. The kids knew I was cool and we talk about stuff and the kids started asking me to mentor them. So then the word kind of got around I was doing this and uh, somebody was like, man, why don't you just teach? I'm like, yeah, how, man? I'm fucking I'm going back to school, are you kidding me? All right, guys, Columbus College Art and Design. Special effects workshop. Let me see that foot. I heard that there was Saturday morning classes. So I would have two classes on Saturday. Then it got to the point where I was teaching adults on Wednesday nights. Yeah. Then I was doing summer workshops the last like a week or two and shit. So it just kind of snowballed and shit. And uh, I looked at my friend Glenn. He was like, how the hell did you come in here working in the cafeteria I end up being an art instructor in less than three months. You know what I mean? I was like, dude, man, they got some drive, son. You know what I mean? My hustle game is out of control, man. I'll, I'll go get it, man. We're going to find a way to get in that door. I'll climb in the fucking window. You know what I'm saying? I'll climb in through the basement window. I'm coming in that fucking house. I'm coming down the chimney, motherfucker, like Santa Claus. But you ain't going to shut me out of this industry. <laughs> Me and Scott both agree on this, and I, we've always said it, we believe it. If you're in this industry and you're like, uh, yeah, man, I know everything, you're fucking dead. You know what I mean? So you gotta keep growing, and the only way you're gonna grow is have a true love for what it is that you're fucking doing. I just went to the next level, huh? Right? Now we can take all these liberties, like there's little ports where we can have little wires coming out fuse back in there and shit like that yeah. and it's just going to be a matter of preference you know what I mean Scott I'm not sure if this is your sexy side or not doing this and finding finding myself in this art form um, it has helped me accept all the bad shit about life the more I am myself and let it all fucking hang out, the quicker I get where I need to be. A lot of people are fake. I just, fuck that, I'm gonna be who I am, you know what I mean? A lot of people just have a problem doing that. You know, and I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Life ain't good to me.